hello and welcome back to my channel for another video today is saturday april 31st yes tomorrow is easter i'm actually about to head out the door to meet my friend jill to grab some coffee but i wanted to come on and intro this vlog today's vlog i'm finally gonna do a spring reset i am so excited i am in like desperate need of a reset vlog but today i am in need of a reset we're gonna do a little spring reset but i am gonna go grab some coffee first with my friend jill i think we're gonna go to this new though here in austin which i've been with her before she's like a pro this new though it's like her favorite spot so we're gonna go grab some coffee there today i'm just keeping it casual since i will be cleaning all day i'm going for like a no makeup look a big graphic tee i'm wearing this one from urban outfitters i love it it's like super oversized comfy some biker shorts and one of my little tricks that i just recently learned to like kind of make myself look a little bit put together without like putting any effort really is my heated eyelash curler this thing is amazing you just turn it on let this go clear it's a little dirty i gotta clean it it's just mascara though and you basically just curl your eyelashes but i'll show you how they look because well let me focus and get my lashes in here i actually am on like my no false lash journey i started like two months ago because i used to wear false eyelashes pretty much every single day it's like 2016 almost i was to the point where like i was almost like i could not leave the house unless i was wearing falsies and i could see the damage like i think my final straw was i took off my falsies one night and i had a whole like cluster of my own natural lashes was missing and i was like that's it that's my final straw i want to start uh, wearing my natural lashes so i tried so many mascaras and the thing with me is like i've always had long lashes right but i noticed before like my lashes would always stay up on its own and i don't know if it's like the damage from falsies every day or the weight i have no idea what it was but when i would put on mascara even if it was like the best mascara they would fall straight so i saw people saying to use a heated eyelash curler and to wear a waterproof mascara and when i tell you it works it stinking works so this is how they look. I don't know if it's really picking up on camera. Like you can also kind of tell here in the front corner, my little lashes are growing. <laughs> this is where that whole like kind of cluster <laughs> fell off. Um, but yeah, they're they're growing. And I know on the front they're supposed to look a little bit shorter, which is okay. But I need them to just you know grow a little bit longer. But I just think it just looks so cool. Um, I can't think of the word. A lash lift. It's kind of like a little at-home lash lift that you have to do like every day. This lash curler is so cool. It was like $10 on Amazon so I can link it in my storefront. I love it especially for like a no makeup day. You can also just like add mascara, like even like a light brown mascara to like enhance them. I have done mascara with no makeup but it just looked like too much. But I think I'll actually maybe try doing like the brown mascara like for no makeup days to like enhance them a little bit so they could like pop but for little no makeup days a little lash at home lash lift so this eye came out a little bit better i don't know if you can really tell it doesn't hurt at all like i know even though it's it's like hot and like it doesn't burn so it's like not it's like a very like low heat but i just think it just adds a little bit you're probably watching being like girl you look the same but for me like i just feel a little bit more put together so this is pretty much it for my look i was thinking of wearing a hat but i might just wear my sunnies on the top of my head and call it a day she is my neighbor she lives two doors down from me so we're gonna ride together i'm not sure what else we'll get into but i know for sure once i'm back home we're gonna get into some cleaning <laughs> I'm on a mission to try every coffee shop in Austin, Texas. I recently moved here and one of my favorite things to do is to grab a latte. Today we're trying this new though. We did come on a Saturday around 11 o'clock and this was the line and how busy it was. They were also handing out samples of their drip coffee of the day, which I thought was a nice little touch. I did order the show you butterscotch latte and their new menu item, which is a cookie. It was all so good and I cannot wait to come back. I did film some clips of me trying my latte and the cookie that I was going to film with the voiceover, but you just have to hear my friend's commentary. It's good. Love that. It's so good. Oh, yeah. It's so smooth. Like their tagline, like a marshmallow. Is that their tagline? Mm -hmm. In the back of their hats. Like yeah. a marshmallow cloud or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> Matthew, but uh-huh. <laughs> Sorry, Matthew. 
and let me know what coffee shop in Austin, Texas I should try next. I am back home from getting coffee with my friend Jill and I know it probably seems like I get coffee in every vlog. I was about to say I don't but that's because I literally do. I literally get coffee. But that's because like when I go meet a friend or something like the best thing to do is like go meet at a coffee shop. I feel like I get coffee in almost every vlog but I don't know okay there could be worse things in life getting coffee is not that bad and it's good so it is what it is but we did go to this noodle so good i ended up getting the show you i'm probably saying it wrong butterscotch latte with oat milk very good i love their lattes i've been there once before with her she's the one that introduced me to them there's like something on my mic like so good they're not sweet at all the coffee flavor like is just so good and like rich in flavor i will say you do have to like wait in line for a bit but we just talked the entire time and it was fine the time just flew by oh i also did get some of these snacks um there were so many vendors and um these are called churitos this guy was giving out free samples and they were so good he definitely sold us and he had a deal where you buy three and it was like ten dollars or something like that and he let us sample each of them i know ranger's like sniffing them but they have like no preservatives they're super clean no msg no nuts no egg no soy no artificial preservative so i ended up getting the queso blanco and then i also got the churro one and then i also got um the chile limon never heard of these i'm assuming they're like a local austin brand but i could no cedar park okay on the way back home I was getting hungry and I was like, do you want to stop and get Chick-fil-A? And she was like, yeah. So we got Chick-fil-A. I had to get some grilled nuggets and some fries. I just put them in the air fryer because they got a little cold. And I was thinking of getting a salad, but I was like, you know what? I've been doing really good on my diet. So I got myself some grilled nuggets and fries because, you know, a balance and a crispy Diet Coke. So good. And also you cannot go without the honey roasted barbecue sauce. This sauce is so good i was sleeping on it for so long it's amazing so i'm just gonna eat my little lunch um it's currently now two o'clock so i think i for sure i'm gonna do some laundry mop and vacuum the floors and so i'm gonna eat my lunch and then we will get the cleaning I'm gonna wash the dishes now. I normally either put them in the dishwasher or hand wash them. Since I don't have that many, I am gonna wash these by hand. I decided I am not gonna cook tonight, so I'm just gonna take care of that first. are now done so i'm gonna just move everything out of the way so i can wipe down these countertops because i think it's been maybe like a day or two since i've actually wiped down the countertop so let's do that now
clean. I feel like it literally looks the same from before and the countertops desperately needed to be like wiped down. I feel like I always wipe them down like or like here where I like am mostly, but I never get <laughs> in the back corners and it needed to be cleaned. Dishes are done, sink is clean. Wiped down my Nespresso, did this whole area. Also, my husband did just leave for work and he did make the bed before he left and it looks so nice and clean in here. I do have to vacuum the floor, but I'll do that. Um, that'll be like the last thing I do. But I wanted to show you how the bed looks because I did get this bed skirt in my last vlog. I got it on Amazon. It was like $10 or something, super inexpensive. It is a little bit long because I think it's supposed to go over a um, like box spring. This bed is like a platform bed, so just hangs a little bit longer than I would like but I like it better than it being like exposed under there but I just love how like just clean it looks and it just ties it all together literally all of my bedding is literally from Target minus the actual bed skirt so my comforter this is from Target my sheets are from Target um the actual bed skirt and the like bed frame are from Amazon the bed frame was super inexpensive it was like $200 from Amazon and it came like in two days I normally have oh I forgot but my little bunny pillow. I normally put my little bunny pillow here um, in the middle. So yeah. It's already 6.37. I am getting hungry for dinner. I almost door dashed, but I was like, you know what? Let me just make something at home. And I didn't want to cook because I just cleaned the whole kitchen. So I just made myself a little sandwich. I did some turkey, cheese, avocado, and some chips, a ranch dip, and some pickles. I actually just found these chips at um, Sprouts. They're air fried potato chips. So they're kind of cooked, but they're air finished. So they're better for you. So that's a win. But this is going to be my dinner. I'm going to have some ice water, probably sit down and watch some YouTube and then continue cleaning. Just finished eating dinner. I also just wiped down the counter and changed the water in my tulips. I thought I was recording, but I wasn't. But now I'm going to start vacuuming and mopping the floors. Actually, I'm going to vacuum the couches. vacuumed it and I also put on my pillows. I did wash the um, pillowcase cover so they're all nice and clean. Couch is done. Let's start cleaning these floors. didn't fill in but I started another little laundry and also vacuumed the floor inside the bedroom. I also just cleaned the toilet and the restroom. The only thing I haven't cleaned yet is going to be the countertops and the mirror so I'm going to do that right now. thing about me when I do like resets, I hate, 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 hate showing the toilet. <laughs> so I will not be showing that, but Russia was clean and now let's mop the floors. <laughs> 